What's up guys and gals? I realized I made a mistake, but we're just gonna have to deal with it in the future. It's okay. We're transporting tobacco right now. I just realized I could have bought coffee and taken it over here and I saw it at like last I saw it at the absolute last second. Right before I started the episode, I was like, no, oh no, people are sick on our ship and he's ready to level up. But if I level him up, he's gonna need like other things. Let's find out what he's gonna need if I level him up, in fact. Let's go to our node menu. And it looks like their portraits are no longer loading. The game, have I mentioned the game's in alpha? So anyways, let's go ahead and if I promote him, what's he gonna get? If I promote him, he will get hygiene. And his salary will go up by 15 credits per day, so he's gonna demand more money. I'm actually gonna promote him, yeah, let's do it. Uh, we already have the things you need for hygiene. That's why I bought the upgraded, just to start out. That's why I bought the upgraded bathroom that actually... Did I buy an upgraded bathroom? Oh, I totally didn't. Lame. Oh, I thought I bought the upgraded bathroom. Oh, I'm so angry with myself right now. I totally just flushed... I mean, I'm not trying to be punny right now, but I totally just flushed his happiness down the toilet. He's gonna get sick really soon because he can't drop a duke and then take a shower, which honestly, I like it when those two things follow each other. I like when you start with one and then you finish with the other. And I'm not trying to be crass right now, I'm just saying that there's a proper order to these things, and if one follows the other, if you do it in the reverse, much less satisfying. The shower first and then you follow it with like the BM, totally nope, because then you feel dirty again, then you gotta take another shower, and so you kinda got like this shower sandwich with duke in the middle, and so we need to speed the game up right now. Let's go ahead and speed the game up as we go to it sent us a message to let us know that Brenda Lewis is sick And so she's hacking coughing and exuding fluids all over everybody else in our crew Which is unfortunate because if we end up with a pandemic on our ship It could end up kind of terribly I am hoping that eventually they put in actual different diseases Like you can get like zombie plague and you can get just like weird things that end up destroying your entire crew if you don't handle them soon enough I think that's a really really cool idea I, I'm, I'm so interested to see what they're going to do with this game in the future because there are so many possibilities like I was I was thinking about it last night after they sent me the game and the possibilities for this game just with DLC alone like things you could just add to the game to make it better are almost endless like you really could add a lot of fun things to the game I should probably fast forward us right now I'm gonna try hopefully they have a shipyard when we arrive in Vocado do they or I'm sorry where are we going we're going somewhere right now are we going to Warlock I thought I was going to Vocado I totally thought I was going to Vocado. Let's just go to Vocado. There we go. And then we'll stop off there if they've got a shipyard. I mean, we're just gonna hit it anyways because it's right here already. I mean, we were right next to the planet, so we might as well swing through and see what we can do here. Tobacco sells at an average price, and so I am actually thinking I'm gonna sell that right there. We'll make a profit. We turned a profit. Each tobacco that we bought cost us, I think, 112. And so we sold them at 283, so it made a healthy profit. We made quite a bit of money in fact and so we're up above 10,000 credits right now which leads me to believe that I should probably be upgrading some things and making sure that our facilities stay the way that they need to so I'm gonna repair all the rooms while we're here and then the other thing that I want to do is I'm gonna click that I'm gonna sell the bathroom and so you can get some money back when you sell the room who would want a used bathroom I'm not really sure like I would not be first in line to purchase someone else's used bathroom broken down into fragments that I could transfer to my ship I feel like you run the serious risk of finding like ancient stains and things on some of the porcelain and so forth and I just can't deal with that right now. I am a star captain. I shouldn't have to deal with these sorts of things. And so you'll see the new bathroom here. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look. Hey, hey, let me look back at my ship. There we go. And as you can see, they've added a lovely little shower right here, which is in fact already being utilized. That or somebody left the water on because they haven't realized that there's a drought in California. And so that affects space as well. At least from my perspective, they should be conserving water in space because you never know. Come on. I mean, honestly. So what we can do now is he can actually have his hygiene needs taken care of. All of your needs get reset, I think, when you go to port. I'm not totally sure about that, but it appears to me as though all of our bars have been reduced. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the missions that are here right now and then we'll decide what kind of crew we want to take on. Oh, the other thing we needed. We needed a sick bay or at least a pill dispenser. So let's go back and facilities. The pill dispenser. There it is. And so I'm going to put a pill dispenser. Let's actually move that up to here. And then we'll put the pill dispenser right there. It doesn't cost us much money at all, and that should allow her to not be sick anymore. I've installed the pill vendor before, and it seems to take care of sickness on your ship. Apparently, we just let people self-medicate, and we also charge them for it. And so I guess we're following the United States healthcare model here. If you can't afford it, you don't get healed. Sucks to be you. So there it is. 
too political? I don't know. It feels kind of political. I try to avoid that sort of thing, but honestly, healthcare in the United States really does irritate me. Nonetheless, nonetheless. So what we'll do here is we've got the Mr. Pill thing. That's all taken care of. We've only got two bays left. What I might consider doing with that is maybe putting in... How large is the passenger quarters? How big are the passenger quarters? Facilities... The tour loft six. I think that's probably going to take up three units. Oh no, it only took up two. Okay. So cool. Now we can take passengers. That'll be fun. That'll be really, really super awesome. So now we can take passenger missions. And that should allow us to have six people, I think is what it said. That's probably why it's called the tour loft six. Yeah, so there it is right there. I mean, let's take a look at it one more time just to make sure. Let's see here. Tour loft, the hitch right tour loft for six. Ship pooling is good for the environment and for your finances. Be willing to share food and toilets, though. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we're going to have a bunch of nappy fools that we don't even know using up our toilets, stinging that thing up, and they never use the Glade Spray. We put the Glade Spray, spe like, we put the glade spray specifically in the room so that you can use it, passengers. So I'm just saying, you might want to get on that. Okay, we can buy computers really, really cheap here. We can buy books really, really cheap here. We can buy data storage really cheap here. But all of these are really sort of high-margin goods. We can also buy art. And, but he only has five art at the moment, and so, he, well, because he's got such a small supply of it, I'm not so sure that that's going to play out the way that I want it to. Instead, let's look around the galaxy for data storage, books, and computers. Data storage, books, and computers. And so, computers right here. So they have computers in Zekbyte, or at least they need them in Zekbyte. So let's go ahead. We're going to load up on computers while we're here. It'll be expensive, but this should be worth it. And so we've bought... Oh, we're actually out of money, so let's go ahead and play this a little bit closer to the chest. I'm only going to buy 10, because I didn't realize how much the passenger quarters it cost us. Let's also take a look, and let me check one more time, make sure. So, Zekbyte was where we were going? Yeah, Zekbyte's where we're going. Let's check for passengers that want to go to Zekbyte. And so, there they're going to Ralph Dick, or Ralph Dick. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. It's Ralph Dick from now on. We can also go to Warlock with that, and we have four days. Eh... We can take iron and tools to Zample. The terrorized tribes, a ruthless corporation has paid mercenaries to set up two primitive tribes against each other to get a hold of their natural resources. A vile exploitation like this must not be tolerated. Find their handyman's ship near Warlock and bring them to justice. Okay, so there's no transfer quests around here. So let's just go to Zekbite with our crew and off we go. Now I'm assuming, I was thinking about it. I didn't look this up because the game's not out yet, so I can't look this up. But these green spots, I'm assuming something like terrible happens if this green spot lands on your ship or something. I think these are just like roving encounters or something maybe. Maybe. Not really too sure. Not too positive, but I'm willing to bet that if they collide with our ship, it's kind of like anything else colliding with our ship. It's probably horrible for us. It's probably not going to work out very well. I can't think about a whole lot of things that would collide with our ship that would leave us in a better situation than we were before, unless it was like a giant asteroid made out of like ice cream and gummy bears or chocolate covered gummy bears. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if you out in the audience have ever had chocolate covered gummy bears, but if you ever have the opportunity, you should take that. Uh, I think everyone in the modern world right now, hell, everybody in the entire world, let's just, let's just cut the boundaries out of it. From the first to the third world, everybody deserves to have a milk chocolate covered gummy bear at least once in their life. It is the kind of decadence that really should not be allowed. I bought, they're expensive though, apparently it's difficult to coat like gummy bears in chocolate. It's like kind of the crunchy chocolate shell that you put on ice cream almost, but oh my. I went on a skiing trip one time and... My ex-girlfriend's mom brought like this giant crate of these things that she had bought somewhere. I don't really know where she got them, but they were incredible. I ate the entire thing in probably one to two sittings. It took me about 32 hours to annihilate the entire box, and I would just lose track of time. That's the thing is they taste so good that you time travel while you're eating them. It's almost like an MMO, like you sit down at one o'clock with an MMO or a box full of chocolate covered gummy bears, and all of a sudden you look up and your face is covered in chocolate. You just feel ashamed of yourself, and it's like 6.30 at night and you're just like, oh, what happened here? You've been watching Mori Povich for like the last four and a half hours. I know I said six and it's, I said, did I say 6.30 or six? I don't know, five and a half to five hours. I can do math. I know how to do simple subtraction and additions. I can manage this. So what we want to do here is we want to sell off our computers. And so off we go to sell off the pooties. Hey. There they are. Okay, so we're going to... Oh my god, they sell for so much. Okay, so we're going to sell off the pooties here. And so that leaves us at 9,000. We've actually almost completely and totally recouped our losses. 
from upgrading our ship and so that's really really incredible and also fantastical magical I'm gonna call it fantastical that sounds kind of dirty uh, I don't know I need to go in for a fantastical cleaning yeah that sounds dirty never mind they produce waste now I'm willing to bet that just about every populated area produces waste and I'm not super stoked about carrying somebody's dung around with me on my ship I'm not quite at that level of desperation yet so cash only thank you really you would think he uses an we live in a spacefaring age, and you use an abacus to do your calculations? And I will work for the Greeks. I mean, if it's good enough for them, it's probably good enough for me. I'm like, oh my god, John. Oh, his name tag changes. At least it's not Steve at every single place. So it's like that. It's little attention to detail type things like the abacus in a spacefaring race and like the name ta the ta like name tag changing while you fly around. I love stuff like that in video games. And like I said, it feels like a double fine production. That's what it reminds me of when I play this game. It very much reminds me of something that you would find, you know, Tim Schafer producing it's it's a really fun little game and so I'm not really sure how long this playthrough is gonna be but you can reasonably assume that I'm probably gonna do like five to ten episodes because meh, I like watching little things tick upwards and make me more money and we'll try and unlock like the entire galaxy or something we'll play it for as long as people are interested but I think this game's probably gonna be a reasonably decent hit so long as they like update it every now and again now the problem we've run into here Oh no, they had coffee. We can run coffee. Okay, so we're gonna buy coffee. We're also gonna- let's find a planet that'll take coffee first. Although, honestly, based on the way Starbucks operates here on Earth, I would assume that just about everybody in the galaxy would want coffee. They have... jewelry. <laughs> They're missing an E right there. That makes it seem like it's jewelry that Hebrews would wear or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that's the way that it appears to me. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can find ourselves a, let's see here. We need to find a place that'll be able to soak up some of the coffee. And so let's look around. Did Zample need coffee? They had... No, they don't have coffee. Where was it that had coffee? Was it you? Ah, it was Zekbite. So Zekbite needs coffee. And so we're going to look for a transfer mission that will take us over to Zekbite. We could do... Ralph. How far away is Ralph Dick from... Z so if we land on Zek... Let's... Hold on, what just happened here? Was it Warlock that I needed? It was Warlock. Okay, so if I land on Warlock, how far away is Ralph Dick? So it's actually probably going to cost us. It'll take us like three days to get over to there. I'm trying to calculate the fastest way that I can move things around. We can make the transfer really easy right there, though. Let's take the passengers. Let's do it. And so we're going to go with... We need five passenger seats. We're going to accept that right now. They should all load up onto our ship automatically, I think. If we're going to go to Warlock first, and if they want to jump ship there, literally, they can go ahead and do that. Let's have a look around. Oh, yeah, there's all our passengers. Cool. I mean, we're going to be sharing bathrooms with a lot. Oh, look, they all prefer updos. Okay, that's cool. It's all got kind of like a space station. What was the name of that dancing game for the, for the Dreamcast? I don't know. There was a dancing game that was really, really popular. This whole game has like an aura of that game. It seems like it draws pretty heavily, both with the way that people dress and so forth. And also the hairdos they use. I, I very much think that they're probably drawing a lot of their aesthetic... Their aesthetic style from Space Station. What was the name of that? Oh, that's going to bother me forever now. Oh, I had that game. I had that in Parappa the Rapper, And I can't remember now. Man. What was the name of that game? Oh, that's upsetting. That's deeply upsetting. I'm going to have trouble living with myself from now. She just pulled a stepping stool out of her pants. And they didn't change her physique or her outline or her figure at all. So she must have had that thing stored in some kind of weird, like, pocket of holding. I assume that they've invented that in the future. Let's have a look at our node right now. Which seems like kind of a precarious thing to say. Anytime I've inspected a node on my person, it seems like it might be... Hmm, that's interesting. I just received a phone call from somebody that said that I rang them. And I'm pretty sure that 100% I have not dialed anybody today. I don't really call people very often. I'm just throwing that out there, but I'm not a social being. So anyways, let's have a look and see what she needs. She's going to need hygiene if we promote her. Yeah, let's go ahead and promote her so that she gets better at doing her repairing job. And so once she's all in position, that'll help her out. How far is Yolanda James from? Okay, so she's got a little while. In fact, she hasn't actually been... She hasn't actually been working very much, so I don't know if her cleaning is actually worth it. I think I hired her with really Lily. I think I got her with really low skills, so... Yeah, I think that's probably the reason. She says she needs beauty sleep right now, but judging from what I see right now, I think she just tends to make up for her lack of beauty sleep by just slamming a whole bunch of makeup on, to be honest. She's kind of got like that raccoon eyeliner thing type going on. You could tell she's either going to a Halloween party, the club, 
or I, maybe she just really, really likes to look good. I mean, maybe Stein Fox or Stygian Fox, he's a lady killer, and they both just want to impress him. They're both, he's got like a love triangle thing going on right here. Let's see if we can unload this coffee. Yeah, we can. We can unload the coffee here for 156. Oop, I don't want to buy it. I want to sell it. And so there it is. We made ourselves, I think it was a 1200 profit. We made a little bit of money right here. And so we can also look around. There's an energy trader that we could think about, but he's only got 10 of them. So I prefer to carry a full hold if I can. He's almost out of computers, so I'm not so sure that that's going to be the best thing to carry around with us, but... Paper? I don't think there's anywhere in the galaxy that we're going to be able to unload paper at a reasonable price. So I don't want to get stuck with a hold full of that stuff. Instead, I think what I might do... Let's take a look because we're going out to Ralph Dick anyways. We're going out to Ralph Dick to do all this. So we might as well carry stuff along with us that will make them happy. And so they consume water, wood, tools, games, computers, fashion, and jewelry. So I think we'll probably just take the computers with us. And if we can get anything else at a decent price, we'll try and take that too, I guess. Hold on, here on Warlock, what do we produce? So, data storage, waste paper. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't going to be a great run for us, I don't think. Because they produce, yeah, they produce a lot of the stuff that we're going to be carrying around. So, I think what I might just do is we'll pick up just the computers here. It's a really, really high margin item anyways. So, we won't make as much money, but it will still be very, very profitable. Steve's back over here. Apparently, he uses an abacus just like his cousin. He's like, why do you assume we're cousins? Just because we're from the same space-faring race? You see, that seems sort of space racist. I don't know everybody else of my species. I was like, I'm sorry, man. It's just, I don't know. Sorry. Just don't bite me. Where did the computers go? They were here just a second ago. Did they go away? Computers? That was weird. I swear to God, there were computers here just a second ago. Does the market shift around? Hmm. That's a little bit odd. Well, I may pick up some energy then, and we could do some energy trading possibly. Why does he have two tabs for energy? There's two tabs for energy, okay. We could also buy a whole bunch of whiskey, but I don't really approve of flying while drunk, and so I think I'm going to try and keep the liquor away from my crew members while we're out here. There's no space station here, so we can't upgrade or repair anything. However, if you wanted to hire more people, we could go over here. We've got another pilot. That might be worthwhile if we wanted to have a pilot kind of directing the ship around the clock, but I don't know if that's something that I really want to dedicate to right now. I like his little sensor array on the side of his head. I wish I had a sensor array on the side of my head. He's also got a executive ball clicker, which that thing drives me nuts in about four seconds. I'd be losing my mind. Those don't seem to be alphabetically arranged in the back, do they? Oh yeah, they are. They're just going from a different direction. Well, no, it goes H to Q right there, so that's a little bit random. So these ones are in sequence, but those ones are not. Hmm. Oh well, I don't even know what he's organizing right now, but I'm just noticing little things in the background, I suppose. We could take data storage with us, but I don't really know anywhere in the galaxy where they need data storage. We could look around just in the off chance that we find some place that has data storage, but... Computers... Let's just go around the horn here and see if we can find anyone that needs data storage. We probably want to hire a scientist pretty soon and start researching some of the outer planets so that we can increase the range of places we can visit to make money. Oh well, we've got energy on board. Let's go to Ralph Dick and I think that's gonna be our journey for the day. Hopefully we don't get attacked because we have no defense right now. Our passengers appear to be just sort of, oh, there's a line for the bathroom. That's gonna be enjoyable. That is totally lame. You could wait for the other people to like levitate out of the bathroom first. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty posh, though, that the bathroom comes with its own, like, levitation platform. Hopefully there's no malfunctions, though, because then you can end up, like, helicopter floating while you're trying to do your business. I mean, I call it helicoptering because that's what I do at public bathrooms. I helicopter like crazy. I put my back up against the cistern. I'm like, nope, absolutely not. And I don't want to use those little paper things either because they stick to your butt when, I don't know, it's weird. I don't like it. If there's a chance that something's going to stick to my butt during an activity, I tend to avoid that activity. Our line doesn't seem to be too terrible, so... And it'll be over in just a minute. You just gotta rip it off fast like a band-aid. 
Let's go ahead and fast forward everything. They're hanging out in the cargo bay just talking trash about all the passengers because we don't have any sort of like stewardess or we don't have any like flight attendant or anything like that. That's the term you're supposed to use now, I think, flight attendant. But anyways, we don't have any flight attendants, so they're just kind of left to their own devices. It'd be cool if you got paid when they ate meals. I'm just saying that'd be kind of interesting if you actually got like the two credits or whatever time they ate a meal or if they use pills to heal themselves, your passengers, you got the $2 because it says, oh no, it says three ninety eight, so you can get $4 every time they ate it. Then again, I suppose you could kind of just keep them hostage on your ship forever, just flying around the galaxy, getting free money for the entire time. Things to think about, I guess. Toilet needs are, like, out of control right now, but nobody's actually pooping or anything. Oh, the pilot needs to poop. That was the problem. Wow, he must have been backing up to his eyeballs. He's like, I was. My retinas were browning. You gotta give me more breaks, man. Hunger's looking pretty bad, too. But she's about to get off shift, so it'll probably be okay. Either way, these problems are all going to be short term. They should go away in just a moment once we arrive at our next location. Ralph Dick. I just had to say Ralph Dick again. I don't know. We're almost there. We're getting closer. And I think once we get to Ralph Dick, we may actually try and hire ourselves. You're awesome. Thanks for taking us to the Gamescom. Now everybody will be able to enjoy our new game. We've transferred 2,000 credits to your account. Cool. So apparently we we're taking them to a gaming convention. That's pretty awesome. What we want to do here is, do they have, oh no, they're actually selling energy. So we want to buy energy, and we want to find a place where we can unload the energy first, though. I do like the fact that we can actually look around the galaxy in this game. Like, it keeps, they have energy drinks, so do the drinks require energy to be put in them as a result of that? They need, not energy. Vocado, what do you need? Energy. Okay, so we're going to buy out the energy here, and then we're going to go to Vocado. So let's jump back up in here. We're going to buy out all the energy so that we have a full bay full of energy. We're going to go to Vokado. Let's see if there's any quests that end, up, end us up in Vokado as well. And, oh man, people hate me. Okay, so he wants me to get him a four-leaf clover and go to Zekbite. Is it on Vokado by any chance? It's on Zample. And you only have 11 days to do it. I might stay away from that just based on the fact that there's a time limit involved with it. And if I get caught up doing other things, I don't want to be stuck sort of dealing with problems. We have space for one more crew member, so we can either take somebody that can shoot or we can take somebody that can do science. Unfortunately, all these guys are a little bit overqualified for the job that we're looking for right now. If I use the scout, I can go with, let's do science so that we can start researching some of the outer limits place. We'll post the job offer. It costs us a little bit of cash. And so we got a level one scientist. That's actually exactly what I wanted. And so we'll hire him. He's got a handlebar mustache. He's also got kind of like a... Oh, I don't know, like a Romulan hairstyle thing going on, so that works out. He's in theme. It works. And so in order to make him happy, what we need to do now... Oh, there's no space state. Okay, so we can't upgrade our ship to help him do science. He's going to be kind of floating for a little bit. Well, he can enjoy the time off with pay, I suppose. And so now we want to go to... Oh, no, I forgot where I was going. Vicado? Pretty sure it was Vicado? Okay, so yeah, we're going to Vicado. It's going to take us a while to get there, though. Six days, so it's going to be a while. Let's go ahead and fast forward that, because obviously we don't have the time to sit around. We've used up all of our facilities right now, and so in fact what we may end up wanting to do is saving for a new ship now. So we may want to hit as many lucrative transactions as we possibly can. Basically just line our pockets with every amount of credits that we can. I assume that since all the stores take cash only in the future, they no longer use debit cards or credit cards or anything that we are stuffing our wallet like we would have back in like the 50s or whatever. So there's that. How far along are we right now? I can't imagine that we're even remotely close to landing. Oh man, we're gonna be out here for a while. Oh, we gotta go all the way around the solar system. God, if we could get somewhere else first, that might be a good call. Is it Vicado I'm trying to catch? My god. So yeah, that might actually be a bad idea. What if I go to Zekbite? Will you still have to make the full rotation? Oh, you do. You still have to orbit. Okay. Well, whatever. I guess we're just going to be stuck orbiting then. Let me go ahead and speed the game up because when I switched screens, it actually stopped on me. So we're just going to have to deal with things as they come along. Toilet needs are looking pretty good. Hunger is building up slowly. I'm actually going to watch my crew from here. We haven't been attacked yet, so I'm assuming that pirates and things like that probably don't show up very often until you get into like the outer reaches of the solar system, maybe. Like once you're out of like, I don't know inner exo or something is that what it's called i forget there's a word for being in the inner solar system and there's a word for being in the outer solar system oh it's called inner solar and exo solar i think or something like that i don't know there are sci-fi terms for these things and i can't remember what they are 
So he's taking a shower. I can't speak for them actually washing their clothing, though, because it appears as though they just hang it up, and then they put it back on. So everybody right now has got to be smelling pretty ripe. And I don't mean, like, ripe like a delicious fruit. I mean, like, ripe, as in they are starting to develop kind of that almost gone sp like smell. So I'm going to repair all my rooms, because apparently the repairs are not getting done at the rate that we would like. Let me take a look at Node real fast. What is her repairing skill at? She's almost at level 2. Okay, well, that's a little bit disappointing, but let's unload the energy right here, see how much money we make. Looks like we're doubling our money. Oh, they actually don't have room for all of it, though, so we may end up... Yeah, we end up with one unit of energy still just kind of hanging around. They're selling computers here, which might be a good call for us. Let's go ahead and go to the shipyard, though, and see what ships they have. And so the current value of the next ship up is 10,000 credits, and so that's actually going to give us 44 units of space. If we wanted to go with the Pira Nano and fight the enemy, we could get it at 10,000, but it's only got 24 units, and we'd be running a pretty small skeleton crew on the plus side. Like, we would be able to forgive my random hiccup right there. I get those. Whenever I record, I get random hiccups. The upshot, the upshot to that would be that we could do combat missions in between, and I've never done a combat mission. So maybe we'll go with combat related. That seems like a little bit of fun and more than likely to get us killed. So let's hang tight with what we have right now. We'll save up a little bit of money. And once we've made some cash, we'll go ahead and handle our business. Now, I know for a fact that computers can be sold somewhere in the solar system for a lot of money. And so we'll grab four of those. We still have one energy left on board. Books, I haven't seen any location where we can sell it off at a decent price. Art, I haven't seen anywhere either, but it might be worth perusing around just to see. He doesn't have his abacus, so apparently he can just do the math in his head. Good for him. Good for him. I'm glad that you have a skill level in mathematics. That, that, that makes me feel good for you, I guess. I don't know. He's actually got... Oh, the, he's out of computers. Wait. He's out of computers right now. Okay, I think it's just moving things around based on how much stock he has. So I think it shifts it up to the top, and then it also deletes it after the fact or something. We could take books with us, but I haven't seen anywhere that uses books. Tobacco is still not... I think there was somewhere that specifically buys tobacco. So if we could find a place with both tobacco... So not there. They want computers. But if we could find computers and tobacco, that would be even better. Computers there. I don't think we were able to find a place before, so I think that might be not the best plan. Not the best plan. I think that may be one that we kind of want to put on the shelf for right now. Let's maybe head on out to Zekbite, and we'll sell off some of this stuff. Let's look for quests to Zekbite. We've got a passenger who wants to go to Zempel, and we've got somebody that needs to go to Warlock. Okay, so he's got illegal cargo that we might get scanned down. Maybe the green zones are actual customs areas. That's what I was kind of thinking about. Maybe these are customs troopers or something. Because when they land on me, nothing bad's ever happened. However, there is the pot. Maybe that's a customs scanner or something. It just kind of determines by luck whether or not you get pulled over and stop and frisked and so forth. I suppose we could... How far is... Let's see. Where do they want that to go? They wanted the... We'll smuggle. We've got the Warlock. Is Warlock close? Am I running a risk of getting run down if I go to Warlock? Not really, actually. I think we could keep that scan zone in front of us. And especially if we go to Zekbite first, then we make the jump to Warlock. Let's see what happens. Let's live on the edge for a little bit. Let's live on the edge. So we'll take the gum. And so that's illegal. We'll also take the passenger, because if we hit Zample, that worries. That's fine. I mean... That's just extra money on top of the cake, I guess. Why you would want money on your cake, I don't know. Because money is super unsanitary from all the studies I've ever read. So I suppose we'll go to... Where was the first quest for? I've already forgotten. You guys know how my memory is. Warlock is our first stop. And Zekbite wanted computers. So we'll hit Zekbite first, I think. So let's travel to Zekbite. And we'll see if we can stay out of the reach of customs. I think we will. I don't see any reason why we would risk getting caught unless one of these dots makes like a beeline for us. Their trajectories don't seem like they're going to hit us. Oh, they might. Oh, dude, come on. Please tell me that dot's not going to hit us. Okay, awesome. I was like, there is no way I timed that just perfectly. Oh, my God, my life. Ah! I don't want those dots to hit me at all. I don't want them anywhere near me, to be honest. We need to upgrade our ship, though, so we can do science. 
and go further out of the reaches of the solar system. So maybe I'll go, I haven't decided yet, maybe we'll go with the bigger cargo ship first. And we'll continue that along. I don't know if you can own multiple ships or anything and swap between them at will or keep them on different planets and so forth. Not really sure how that whole system works, so we'll explore that together while holding hands and singing and jumping merrily. But I think we're about out of time right now, so when we land in Zekbite, I'm going to break off the episode. My name is Splatter K. I like how he has the little poo icon right there, like a Tamagotchi, just reducing all human needs to Tamagotchi digital levels. My name is Splatter Cat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Cosmonautica. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care, everybody, and hi do. Oh, hell. We've been Cosmonauti. Let's see here. Oh snap, our ship has been tagged for inspection. We carry OT of potentially illegal material. Chance of detection. It's a 50-50. How much should I bribe him? I'm getting paid 5,000 for the mission. So, there we go. So we bribed him. It cut our profits in half. But assuming that we don't get caught twice, we should be all right. Let's sell off our computers here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerdcast for the next episode of Cosmonautica. Bye, everybody.